A piston with a piston rod length of 20 units long is attached to a crankshaft with a radius of 5 units. What is the displacement of the piston if the crankshaft is rotated 120 degrees from initial position as depicted? So how do we go about solving this problem? Well, we have to think in terms of triangles. The piston rod makes a blue triangle with hypotenuse of 20 units, which is the piston rod length. We can use the property of right triangles, SOHCAHTOA, to find the side length adjacent to that angle, which is 20 times the cosine of the angle above the origin, and the opposite side to that angle, which is 20 times the sine of that angle. We can make a second triangle for the crankshaft. We will set the angle from the initial position so it will look like this. Recall the unit circle. This triangle has a side length adjacent to that angle of 5 times the cosine of that angle from the origin, and a height of 5 times the sine of that angle from the origin. So now, how would we set up an equation to find the position of the piston relative to the origin? Well, we can add our two x distances, which will be the adjacent lengths or cosine legs of the two triangles. We are left with the negative 20 cosine of angle 1. This is negative because this section will always go leftward or towards the negative side, plus 5 times the cosine of angle 2. This will change from positive to negative depending on the crankshaft rotation from initial position. Next, we need to figure out what the angle 1 of the blue piston rod triangle is. If we look at these two triangles, we notice that the height or opposite side of the triangle from the angles are shared, or in other words, are equal, so we can set these two side lengths equal to one another. Doing rearranging of the formulas using basic algebra, we get this equation that is equal to angle 1. Now we can plug this into the original equation where angle 1 once was, in the position of the piston rod relative to the origin. Plugging in our angle of 120 degrees into the equation equals negative 22.02 units from the origin to the end of the piston rod. Now to get the displacement, we can take the number we found and subtract the position of the piston at initial condition, which is negative 20 for the piston rod because it is going leftward, plus the 5 radius of the crankshaft because it is going rightward at initial position. We get a piston displacement of negative 7.02 units from initial condition. Poll update. This counts one more for kinematics and dynamics. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.